system in the Roman capital in a vault. When the Roman church began to rise as an imperialistic power against Judaism, uh, because by that time the mixed race Jews uh, who had more knowledge and they were more grounded uh, in the ancient Kemetic uh, tradition, Hebrew tradition as well, they had more knowledge, and it was sacerdotal power that ruled. Always keep that in mind. It, it wasn't just military. It was sacerdotal. Whoever held the uh, divine power held the power of the world. And in order to get that, you had to show that by seizing uh, or, or occupying that temple or that throne or whatever. Well, they needed to usurp that from the Sibyls because the, the Jews were gaining more ground, especially in West Africa and in Greece. Uh, and so they, uh, under Constantine, Constantine, he destroyed the temples. Uh, in the book of Revelation, you hear about the seven temples. Those were the civil temples. They weren't Christian churches. Christianity, in fact, our tradition lingered so strong throughout the ancient world up to 500 years after the death of this person they call Christ. After. It was no way to destroy it because it was the original power, period. And nothing preceded it, nothing. You have a corruption of it. But 500 years after. But those seven temples are, are the civil temples that were usurped by them. And those prophecies were against them. And what would befall them because of what they did? This is, now, keep in mind, this has nothing to do with Christianity. I'm just recounting history. They came up with this Christianity later. They had to center it around some kind of deity of their own. But they took her temples there. They took them in, uh, all throughout Turkey. The tiny empire. They took all of that under Constantine and Theodosius, the, the military arm of Rome, general of Rome. They took her temples. And they took her scriptures. Because the book of Psalms was found in ancient Syria where one of the greatest temples to the mommy deity, Adagasis, existed. They come out of her temple. That's where the Book of Psalms was found, the so-called Book of Psalms, which was just papyri at the time. You know, Mother, as I hear you speak and, you know, as I was reading your book, and I said this a little bit earlier, I just, I just had, you know, so many emotions, and one of the, the main emotions were just, just how cheated black women, I mean, just how cheated and just like, as you said, you know, even doing the Christian thing myself at one time, just not even, you know, thinking or pondering that that is my, that's my history, and I'm celebrating the fall right. of my mother temple. Right, the slave mentality. There you go. It, it's and amazing. We, and we have to get out of this very narrow box in which we view slavery, uh, in which we view the history and what that really, really meant. It, uh, we tend to just think in terms of European-American slavery. We don't understand that slavery began when the first mother temple was overthrown. That's how the city yeah. began to be sold into slavery. The tradition of the Amagasi is a slave tradition. It is bequeathed to the children of the slaves. In this country, there are Amagasis families in this country, there are lineages here. It is bequeathed to the children of the slaves. But we keep looking to the uh, corruptions of her, her religion. The Mecca, uh, Mecca uh, Islam is not, uh, uh, the Islam there is the Islam of the white Arabs. But it, that was not their religion. Islam was already in existence, and it was matriarchally centered. That, that's the, it was the, set, the, the second branch. There were seven major branches of the mother uh, uh, 
uh, religions that the spirit taught her. Spirit. It wasn't religion. Spirit. Islam was one of them. And in the seventh century, after they taught uh, this warrior chief Muhammad, he overthrew those temples. He took out oh. all the African deities. He took oh. her dove out. He took the Pestanusian stone, the black rock, out and tried to move it. But bad luck had, had uh, because of the war, those who knew who it belonged to went to war with him. It's all broken up inside there, but it's put together by wire. That's history that's not being told, and they don't want you to photograph. Not inside. They, will, they don't let you inside to see it. But uh, the Islam, that's, that's why it's at war. That's why it's, it's not, there's no peace there. When you do that, it's war for all humanity, not just for those who are guilty. These are, all of the religions are at war because they have all been usurped and corrupt and made into something altogether different, and the mother has been removed. African mother has been removed. It's critical that we understand that and that our history is a continuum of this history here. It's not separate from that history. It's a continuum of this history and the perversions of uh, the Canaanites were a matriarchal plan. Well, not patriarchal. And they were hated because they refused to disown the mother God. And so they were called idol worshipers, and they were called this, and they were called that, the same way we were when we were brought over here. It's a continuum. They came west. They came west, west Africa. They were pushed further, further west, across the Sudan. Even the, the, the groups that you have made, like the Dogon, if you talk to them, they will tell you. My ancestors came from east and we were forced west. We come out of Egypt, we were forced west. When you go into Togolese cosmology, uh, 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 they will tell you the same thing. On the, the list of the pharaohs, there are Togolese names. There are Akan names. It came west. And so to reject and to condemn uh, and to allow the continual degradation of our, our uh, spiritual systems, we continue to not only degrade ourselves, but keep ourselves off our divine road that will lead back to our wholeness. It's not hell food. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> it's not. Sorry. You know, and filling your head with a bunch of, of intellectualism and theology and a book. That's not going to join you. You know, and we fought hard to keep from being called niggas, but if they say the word voodoo is evil, we keep on going and agree. So we and left our divine was right there in the garbage where they kept them. And we support and and it's interesting that you just said that as far as the names are concerned, Mother, because even the term when I see the book that you spoke and you call it, you know, Mammy Water, I think about all the time how black women were called mammies, and they had no idea why they were being called that. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. The etymology, that's one of over 10,000 appellations for the Divine Mother, but it's always Ma. Mama, mama, dear, have you? But my point is, is that we we have to get out of the box that we have been psychologically pounded into when we view ourselves in relationship to this history, and understand we are those blood kin, those ancient ancestors. We are not separate from them. And the way that they teach West African history, this lie that it was all jungle forest and therefore we couldn't get to, to Egypt. Now, they could out of the mountains. They could get there. 
but we couldn't. <laughs> you know, and and so you know, it's just using your 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 sensibilities, using just thinking it through. Just thinking it through. There is no jungle over there. Uh, I want to ask you this last question because I told you I wasn't going to keep you long, but I do, I do, Mother Zombie. I just want to, you know, really thank you for this work because, uh, like I was saying, as I was reading all of the, the information that the Caucasians and you know the feminists had, I had to take time myself to pick this stuff out and to link it back to us. And your book, I, I just, I, I'm just forever humble. My daughters are forever humbled. I wonder, I wonder often, you know, who we are at this time for us to even come into the knowledge of who we are in her story.